Now we will demonstrate how a laser star marking system allows the operator to freehand or free position a particular part, bringing it into the correct focal plane and determine where the mark will occur. First we will install a flat piece of brass onto the standard lab jack stand. By engaging the pointing diodes, you'll see two red to pilot diodes appear, which then allow us to adjust the height of the stand and in this case bringing the piece into the correct focal plane which is the distance between the lens and the part. Shutting off the pointing diode kit we now will engage what we refer to as a profile rectangle which is a red pilot diode rectangle generated by the software based on the image that we're going to mark. The software will determine the space that's required and give the operator an idea of the spatial requirements to perform the application. You can adjust the particular image to grow larger or smaller based on the item that you're attempting to mark. Once you have positioned it correctly, in this case we will put it in the lower left corner of the image, we will shut off the profile rectangle and now begin the laser process. In this particular case we're going to mark a wireframe image of the shuttle this took approximately 10 seconds and now you will see we have marked the image in a wireframe image. It's a little difficult to see right now due to the reflectivity. There's a good shot. You can see it's clean and simple. If we wanted to now put that image next to the other item again, we simply engage the profile rectangle we can put it in a different location next to it for example shut it off engage the laser system and again the marking process will occur profile rectangle also allows operators when setting up custom fixturing devices for large quantities of parts to be marked to correctly position and align it and then lock the assembly in. This is the end of this demonstration.